Welcome to my first post for a new perspective, a channel to help me get out of my comfort zone by trying new restaurants, hobbies, fitness trends, and much more. In this series, Exploring My Hometown, I will be visiting restaurants and locations I've always wanted to try before moving off to Ohio. Today, I'll share a little bit about myself and the wine bar that I went to over the weekend. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit like and subscribe. A little bit about me. My name is Allison and this is my boyfriend, Blake. We currently live in Virginia, but we're excited to move to Ohio in the next few weeks. We have two dogs who love going on adventures with us. On the left is Ozzy, he is a mini Australian Shepherd, and Leo is our 180 pound Newfoundland. Over the weekend, I met with some friends at a historical home that has been converted into a wine bar. This beautiful two-story location is inviting and has multiple rooms for a more intimate feel. But if you love the outdoor seating as much as I do, in the summer, they convert their parking lot into a dreamy outdoor picnic area filled with flowers, lights, and music. Now, if you're starving, I suggest you do not go here, but they do have an amazing wine selection and shareable plates for everybody in the family to enjoy. When we walked in, we were immediately led up these cool black stairs with a gorgeous chandelier to a private room to enjoy our tasting. Once we were in the room, we were able to enjoy the historic atmosphere and an amazing view of the downtown area. The private room gives an elevated vibe to sharing wine with your friends. Due to COVID regulations, all their menus were online, but still matched the aesthetic of the venue. We all decided to share a charcuterie plate, selecting three cheeses and two delicate meats that matched with our wine pairing. The food was amazing, but definitely should have ordered more food for four adults to share. When it came to selecting the wine, the waitress wrote down our preference to have their on-site sommelier choose which one they believe we would enjoy best. We ended with two red tastings and two white tastings. So for the two of you, uh, I have on the far left the Pinot Grigio from Italy. The middle is the Grio, which is the grape. Um, it's from Italy as well, but it's my personal favorite on those. And then following the third is Salatiano. Um, it's a great uh, indigenous to Greece. Well, it's very similar to an Anno Chardonnay in the fact that it's like more of a full body, full weight kind of wine. Um, so, and she'll take my off. In the middle we have our Matthews cab, which is really nice from Oregon in your face cab. And on the end we have a Tempranillo, so that one's a little different, it's a little more tannic. Um, it's got a little funk, a little heavier, it's one of my favorites personally. We enjoyed our wine tasting and exploring a new restaurant in our hometown before Blake and I head off to Ohio. Of course, after a little wine, we went exploring, found a T-Rex, and obviously had to take a photo with it. Next week, I'll be sharing about one of my favorite breweries in my hometown. But before we attend the anniversary party, we'll be exploring a new tequila bar on the way. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'll be putting out new videos every Friday, hopefully. Links for all the restaurants and bars are in the description below.